Well, guys, welcome to the running for Liga and team of the season. And I'm currently four and two in foot champions. It's not been a great start for me at all, but I'm playing against Super Sweats. I'm also trying a few different things with my players in the squad, such as Alfonso Davies in the midfield, uh, which went pretty badly, to be fair. So I've moved Balde into the midfield, and if he's still bad, we're going to have to look at Alfonso Davies in the left back spot, maybe changing a few different players around. Uh, it's just too difficult to choose who I want in the team right now. We've got a bunch of nice cards. Zidane got a red card in the last one, but I did win, so I'm four and two in foot champions. This is the team currently. Uh, I don't really have too many changes that I could make. Um, yeah, I mean it's a little bit rough, but this is the team. I've got a bunch of good players. If it's not going well, I'll change them out. Four and two. Let's get into uh game number what seven? Game number seven. Let's go. And welcome to the first commentary of the games that we played in Foot Champions. As you can see, that's the team. And uh, we start off against this guy the first game within the first minute or two. Uh, this is what it comes down to. Uh, so we start at 4 and 2 in Foot Champs uh, from Sunday's late run. Not worth it, but this is how it starts off. Three minutes in, it's a cross into the box. And of course, we concede straight away. To a Guiri header, which is just absolutely terrible. Uh, not great, but we are here on the right-hand side with Nabri as well. And I'll go through the tactics, the formation that I was using uh, this weekend. It was pretty good. I didn't lose a game after changing the tactics. I went from 4-2 and two to 11-2, and two, which is 7-0 and zero on the Monday afternoon. Uh, not too bad at all. So from all the games, we'll have a couple of major highlights and basically just the goals from the game so it's not going to be too extremely long it's about 11 minutes uh, with the packs at the end as well so it's looking nice and good but as you can see a lot of good tactics meta wing backs uh, getting forward and getting into the right areas to be able to pass the ball back to our strikers who are making some wow. amazing runs <laughs> wow that was interesting gg the five back was incredible there though i might have to switch to the five back full time that was really good uh, oh. five even, you can hear it from me now. I was even happy with the five back. Team of the season, Vinny. Okay. Let's go. Basic on a couple of his players. I like uh, to see I'll have to make sure to mute the basic these on all of his day. players. I like to see that. Well, I'm definitely not muting that, but that was funny. And so here we go into the next game. So we're using a 5 1 2 2 tactic. As you can see, he scores with Castellanos straight away in this game as well. Maybe I should be working on my defense early game and conceding less games. But we're using the 5 1 2 2 uh, with one CDM. Remember as well, guys, because this formation is a little bit broken when you're looking at the tactics menu. Uh, your right center mid and your CDM will be swapped around in game. Uh, basically, because it was a new formation built this year, but they changed it from the 5-3-2 and it's broken and so just make sure you look out for that if you want to use the formation as you can see there Marino in the CDM spot actually plays that right centre mid uh, so that's just how it is so we'll start with the, the tactics we've got um, a balanced defensive style the offensive style is balanced and forward runs which obviously allows my strikers to make some amazing runs into the box from my wing backs which is very good uh, what are we looking at? So we've got width at 50, depth at 35 for the uh, defense, for the attack we've got width at 40, plays in a box is 7, corners 3, free kicks 2, all pretty standard stuff. Probably doesn't make too much of a difference if you've got some a little bit higher or a little bit lower, but those are the ones that I've been going for. Uh, the strikers are on stay central, one centre mid and the DM on stay back, and all of them are on cover centre. And the wingbacks are balanced attack and overlap, not stay back. Because if you're on stay back, they won't get forward. They won't be able to attack in the game for you. And uh, they're a pretty big influence on how I play the game. And of course, the team run down. We saw it at the start as well. And so we've got uh, Mark andre to Stegen in goal. He was okay. Any sort of shot towards the goal, he'd either save it or it'd go in. I mean, pretty standard with every shot, really, isn't it? But... Yeah, he wasn't too amazing in the goalkeeper spot, if I have to be completely honest. But that's all right. Uh, for the right wing back of the five back, I did have uh, Alex Baldi from Barcelona. He started at left back, but as I changed the formation from a four back into a five back, I needed a right wing back. And 
He was the left back in the team. Alfonso Davies on that left side is the goat for real. So that's why he moved over to the right hand side with three centre backs uh, Kimpembe, uh, Ramos, and Ronald Araujo, uh, which were very good for me. Ramos a little bit behind the power curve at the moment. To be honest with you, he's just fallen off a slight little bit. Not quite as good as the new team of the season cards, but he's still very good. Uh, that's for sure. As you can see in this game, I am fuming that this guy is scored, but that's all right. Um, so, how do we build with the formation? You'll see a lot, a lot of the time. We don't always need to be sprinting straight towards the guy's defense. We can pass it around, look for options, and see where the gaps are coming. That was a great goal from Matoma as well. Did thoroughly enjoy the quick passing movements and and quick plays that we're able to pull off and get into some great positions as well. So that's all good uh, for us up top. Matoma as well. What a player Matoma is. If you've not got team of the season Matoma, you've missed out. Or if you've got rid of him already. The guy is incredible. Uh, to be honest, he did replace Lewandowski in quite a few games. And I can tell you right now, the Lewandowski stats from Champs. He's got 17 goals in... How many games is it? He's got 17 goals in... How many games did I even play? I can't even remember. 4 and 2, 11 and 2, 13 games, 17 goals, 6 assists in 13 games. Not too bad at all, uh, to be honest. Uh, so there, they come it, this way. Yeah, what can I say about the team, oh. really? It was quite fun. Uh, so, we've that we'd, obviously, we've done to Stegen bad. Defence was pretty good, Ramos a little bit let down, but uh, you'll see at the end what happens to Sergio. Uh, we've got. Alex Baldy on the right wing back was actually pretty nice, to be fair. He's quite small and agile and quick. Loved playing with him. And then on the other side, Alfonso Davies was an absolute monster. Five-star weak foot go over there. And as you can see as well, we're picking up another win. Uh, straight wins. I didn't lose a single game from four and two. Uh, pretty good. Very easy as well. Uh, did quite much enjoy playing that one. Uh, so in the midfield, we had a midfield three of Nabri, Goretzka, and Marina. Uh, that's team of the season, Mikel Marina from Cersei Dad. He was pretty good as well. I must say the biggest letdown was Goretzka. First touch is absolutely terrible half the time. Passing is such a letdown as well. I don't really know what... Uh... Well, the problem with the card is I'm running him with a shadow. He's got 93 ball control and 94 passing. Let's go. Well, that's 94 shot passing, 93 long pass, 92 vision. It And he just misplaces, passes quite a lot. But defensively, he's very good. Does pick up quite a lot of assists as well. But now with with the team changing the formation from the 4-3-2-1 to the 5-2-2-1, uh, uh, the 5-1-2-2, two, two, I should say, uh... A lot of the assists are coming from the wingbacks. Getting some good positions. And again, we're playing against some really good teams as well. So that's all good. 4-0 winning in 35 minutes there. I think that was against a full league gun team as well. As you can see, Goretzka in the DM. Nabry on the right. Marino on the left. Makes sense to me. Um, pretty good there. And how how are you able to do it? We need a slow build-up play. We can't be rushing around, getting things wrong. That is no good at all. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it goes. Uh, you've got to be a slow builder. But of course as well, if you've got a great opportunity to counter or play an over-the-top through ball, you've got to take the chance as well. Sometimes, even if you think maybe there's a good chance it won't work, there's still a good chance that you have to play the pass just on the off chance it will work. And that's just the way it is. A great goal here. Hernandez to Mbappe. Subbed on team of the year, Hernandez. Uh, you can't really complain about that, can you? And again, it was another good win in this game. I won all the games easy. The only stressful game was the last game, and I absolutely dominated the fella. I made it 3-1, and the guy was out of there on this game. So it's quite a standard uh, couple of games. This is the last game. It is. I recognize the team. It's got Alex Baldo, Fakia, Griezmann, Kane, Odegaard, Casemiro, Marina, Molina, Cavalier. It's a really good team. And of course, how do we start the game off? With a lovely goal. Uh, for the opponent and we do bring it back it was a crazy game that uh, went to 3-3 three, three. 
in the end, as you'll see from the goals. It was really back-to-back kickoff goals the lot. As you can see from this goal, we scored, and I believe we scored straight away again to take the... Oh, no, he scored. Maybe it was the next goal that was a uh, kickoff goal, but... A terrible goal conceded from a chip shot to Harry Kane. That was the second chip shot he had. And then he scored again with Griezmann. Okay, and here we are. I thought the shot was coming. He could cross it around in a great position. Two eights, four the shot of the goal should have been Red saved League from there from an 88 Griezmann against him. Oh, actually, he's super gassed for these. Stegen. Should be saving yeah, we'll it. And then we well. obviously make it Jamie Vardy in the championship, man. Unbelievable. It, it, it really should have not been season time, but it did Please be a huge guy. Makinos. game. Incredible. We've got a couple of Let's highlights. Go. Look at the That's build super awesome. We're going to take Marquinhos. Oh, 100%. Piece of attacking play as well. Um, it was yeah, I've already got Sam Beck. Klaus is like 100k. And, uh, Marquinhos. At the end of it, we don't get the goal. very expensive. Let's go, Marquinhos. And the and second at the one. Please, Mbappé, Mbappé, Mbappé. We don't get the goal. And you'll see the match that's oh, at the end of the game. We, oh, we absolutely get smothered this guy. Well, the I think Klaus is the right one to take here. Uh, but of course, because uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We got some packs still to come as well. Again, making a bunch of good saves. You'll see the statistics. Absolutely crazy. There we go. We take Red Klaus and Red Marquinhos. Not managed to pull ahead. What a day. And now time uh, for the packs. We've got the 50k pack. We'll start with the 50k. And it's going to be not to be the season. Thanks it very was much. a lovely goal as well. We did get and, uh, run still to oh, take the win and go. to take home. Who does he replace? All the wins, as you can see, are pretty Ramos, happy about that one. I think that would be a nice one. And an ultimate pack as well. Team of the season. Doesn't matter. we got Red Marquinhos, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and Trent Theory is back, baby. Thanks for watching. Oh, and Modric, and Headhanders. Let's go. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace.